Hey everybody, John here. Um, first and foremost, I'm going to do what I always do, I guess, and apologize for not making any videos. <laughs> um, it's Things have got, just, life just gets in the way sometimes. And, uh, and a choice between making videos and playing with my son or family time or work or whatever, you guys come last. So I apologize for that. Um, but I will say that a lot of it boils down to me just being a little bit too lazy to make a video. Um, so anyway, that out of the way, this is my first Homebrew Wednesday video. Um, I'll say this, that I haven't made videos, but I have been following the Homebrew Wednesdays um, and just the Homebrew community in general. And I'll have to say that, that I've never seen a more positive and great community of people um, than the one we have on YouTube with the homebrew community now that there's not as many um, negative entities and, and trolls for lack of a better word um, lurking around creating problems and causing problems on purpose so that being said um, I don't have a homebrew tonight I have uh, an American pale ale from a local homebrew uh, local brewery uh, Blackstone Brew House uh, Blackstone Brewing Company in Nashville Tennessee just their American style pale ale. And um, so I'll have a pour. It's actually one of my favorite beers lately. It's a really nice hoppy beer. Kind of has a, some Simcoe and citrus hops in, in it. And a nice deep, kind of golden color. And. Uh, it's a good beer, so it's fairly local, so if you're not around here, you're probably not going to have a chance to get it. But if you do get a chance to, to try it, uh, definitely one of my favorites at the moment. What am I doing? Um, I'm still brewing, not as much as I was. Um, I actually brewed a beer about a week ago, uh, a pale ale. Uh, I'll probably say something about it maybe next week. Uh, it should be kind of ready maybe even drinkable by next week. Uh, I brewed it about a week ago yesterday. Yeah, a week ago yesterday, so by next Homebrew Wednesday, it should be about ready to go. So we'll see. Uh, I'm planning on entering that in a competition coming up soon, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's see. Um, I haven't brewed much, like I said. Um, I, I've got a chocolate stout and a peach blonde in the and the kegerator that are kind of past their prime, not my favorite beers anymore. They're probably less than a quarter of a keg full, so I'll probably end up dumping them um, just to make room for more beers because I plan on um, brewing a lot more coming up. Uh, let's see, uh, new things in my life in general. Uh, I, the new brew stand is up and working, running really well. Um, you've seen the burners in the demo that I've posted. Um, the only real tweaks that I've made to it are uh, I've got all the kegels ready and ready to go. I'm going to change some things about that too. I'll probably do a video about that. Um, but basically, um, it's a pretty standard three burner system, three kegels. I can brew 10 gallon batches, um, one pump. I'd like to get a second pump to be able to fly sparge uh, if I want to. At the moment, I can only batch sparge because of the um, I can't uh, pump. I, don't, I need a second pump to be able to do that. Um, other than that, um, I didn't want to make this too awful long um, and get long-winded. Um, but again, uh, I, I'll do some shout-outs because I, I have been keeping up with the community. Um, first of all, Thanks to Craig Tube, uh, somebody recently called him the godfather of YouTube homebrewing. I can't necessarily disagree with that. Um, he's the guy that got me into homebrewing, really. I mean, he made it seem relatively easy. Uh, even though I never, ever once brewed a beer the way he brewed it, it got me to looking into how to do it and, and seeing if it was as easy as he said. So thank you, Craig. Um, SJ Poor for creating homebrew Wednesdays it's become obviously it's like just taking over YouTube it's really really cool to see all these videos um, of people and kind of updates on a weekly basis of how people are 
um, doing and, and what they're doing and what they're brewing and, and things like that. Um, Jake C. Punnett, or Jake CPU Nut, however you want to call it or however they call you, whatever. Uh, I'm going to say Jake CPU Nut because that's how I um, thought you uh, created this. So um, I love his videos. Uh, he's you know, even the rambling videos, it's it's amazing. I'd like to see him make more brewing videos. That's, you know, I know he's busy. He's got a kid on the way, and um, congratulations there. Um, but I like watching videos, plain and simple. I can watch videos of people brewing every single day. I watch videos of everybody every single day. Whatever's posted, I watch. So, um, Don Osborne, great guy. If you don't watch uh, his videos, you're missing out. Great videos. Uh, Brewing TV, if you guys aren't aren't uh, subscribed to Brewing TV or go to northernbrewer.com slash Brewing TV, I think is the link. Um, great information, great guys. Michael Dawson is one of the smartest home brewers out there. Makes the information easy to understand and um, fun to, to, to learn. And I, I learn something every single time I watch Brewing TV. Some of the new guys who kind of came along after I kind of stopped making videos my little eight or nine month delay um guys i'm sure they were making videos before this but i didn't i guess notice them until then guys like hokey homebrew um apparently there's a video that you actually drove through clarksville at one point and, and made mention of austin p i'm a, an alum of austin p graduated in 01 so uh go governors you know let's go pee around the bowl in the hole let's go pee um uh Great, great guy. Uh, good videos. Um, is obviously a positive influence on the homebrew community. Um, putting together a lot of homebrew um, experiments and challenges and things like that. I like to watch his videos. Seems like a really cool guy. Um, Glitch777. Love your videos, dude. Um, uh, I'd like to see you do some more brewing videos. Uh, I think that, that a lot of people would like to see you do a little more uh, a few more brewing videos. Um, uh, most of the time, you're standing in your garage smoking weed and, and uh, drinking a beer. You know, nothing wrong with that. Just uh, I, I tend to prefer watching videos of uh, guys brewing and whatnot. But you know, do your thing, dude. Whatever. Um, love. You're hilarious at times. So, um, and I know I'm leaving some people out that I that I watch on a regular basis. Uh, the Gentle Arts, I think, uh, is the guy's name now that's doing the Road to Grain series. That's awesome. Um, the fact that he's he's diving into it and um, really taking on the challenge is really cool. I, I have no more fun in my life, really, than, than doing all-grain beers. And uh, the, the creativity it takes, the challenge, um, and just the, the fun that you have dealing with the process. So uh, cheers to everybody out there. Um, keep drinking good beer and uh, keep brewing good beer um, I don't like I will say there here's the one thing my, my commentary for the end of this video um, I don't like it when people call it homebrew to be quite honest with you um, I have a problem with that um, yes it's a homebrewed beer um, we happen just mostly because we brew it at home um, homebrew beer is beer and I would like to see more people, um, home brewers in particular, obviously, move towards using the word beer instead of homebrew. Um, first of all, homebrew, yeah, I mean, obviously, it, it sounds a little quirky and, and funny. Um, when you tell someone who isn't a brewer, they kind of don't understand in a, lot of, in a lot of cases. So um, when I brew beer, um, I call it beer. And when someone asks me if I brewed it, I say, yes, I brewed this beer. Uh, I'm a home brewer. Um, but you're having a pale ale that I brewed uh, or whatever. Um, and it's a beer. So call it a beer. Um, if you disagree with me, let me know. I mean, it, it, maybe there's an argument for the other way around. I, I am proud to be a home brewer. And I'm proud to tell people that, that, I, that I brew beer that I drink um, that I consider really good and other people have enjoyed too. So... Um, but I tend to, to want to call it beer. I think it's, uh, uh, be proud of it. You know, call it beer. That's what commercial breweries do. So that's what I'm going to do as a home brewer. Um, 
hopefully next time we do this video, I'll have a homebrew to be able to, to share with you guys. And uh, I guess that's about it. Um, so until next time, happy homebrew Wednesday. Cheers.